Welcome to Cardinal Film Fights, uh, the place that you clicked on. I'm your host and judge, the Jost, if you will, Stephen Mason, and I will take you on a magical journey tonight in these next 15-ish minutes. If you don't know what we're doing here, this is Cardinal Film Fights. Uh, each and every one of these people here, not including me, will be talking about movies. What movies, you ask? Well, stick around and see. They will be given a topic, and they will have to defend their opinions about why, what they think about a given topic. They'll have one minute to give an opening statement, five minutes to tear at each other's throats, tell each other why they're terrible human beings and why they're saints, and uh, 30 seconds to uh, refute everything they just said to each other. So, uh, you, what's your name? Major, year, and uh, favorite, uh, favorite level of intensity? All right, well, my name is Ben Nelson. I am a sophomore here at Ball State with major in TCOM, and my le favorite level of uh, intensity is all the way. Yeah! Okay, moving right along, mm, you. Uh, my name is Noah Allen. I'm a uh, freshman TCOM major, and um, my favorite level of intensity is, you know, you know, it's, it's about 75% of the way. 75%. Know? Nice and cool, but not too cool. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, finish us off. My name is Ben Bartlett. My major is telecommunications. I'm also a freshman. And uh, my level of intensity is what you said. Mm. My uh, level will have to be maybe a 50. Taking it easy. Well, um, it's not going to be easy to take it easy in a post-apocalyptic world. You know, uh, you got to try your hardest just to stay alive. And uh, they've given us a lot of movies in recent years and in yesteryear. So, uh, Ben, what do you think is the best post-apocalyptic movie? Words are hard. I just love what everything you just said, sir. Mm -hmm. So my favorite post-apocalyptic movie has got to be by far and away Mad Max Fury Road. This is the first Mad Max movie in over 15 years, I believe, that George Miller has directed, and what a comeback he made. This is by far and away everyone's favorite Mad Max movie. Absolutely no one thought that this would be. Everyone thought Beyond Thunderdome was going to be the highlight of the franchise. No way. This blew it out of the water. Tom Hardy taking the role as Mad Max was a surprise for everyone. Everyone thought that only Mel could do it, but nope, Tom Hardy found a way to do it, and my God, did he do it brilliantly. Not to mention Charlize Theron as the main protagonist. No one thought that she would be any good, but like, wow, she is. And just the world that uh, George created is still fantastic, and I enjoy every minute of it. It would have blown everybody out of the water if there was water in the Mad Max universe. Next up, we've got the second Ben, Ben Bartlett. Take us away. Well, my favorite post-apocalyptic movie would, um, would have to be one of George A. Romero's zombie movies called Land of the Dead. I chose this one because mainly it was like one of my first George A. Romero movies, my first zombie movies ever, where it has to deal with even after a an epidemic where people just turn into zombies, start eating flesh. There were survivors, and um, let's just say a certain part in a, an abandoned town is being controlled by rich uh, people, and there was nobody can do it. Until then, when the zombies just had a thought, they were communicating, they're thinking, saying, oh, we should go to the bright lights. There were probably more flesh for us to torture them. Because, you know, in the beginning, you get to see them being tortured. And it's like the first George A. Romero movie that he has ever done in years since Day of the Dead. All right. Those zombies have got brains, and they want more. <laughs> and uh, running us off, we've got Noah. Um, so I chose Shaun of the Dead. Um, <clears throat> this takes a, a little uh, turn. It's not your average uh, post-apocalyptic movie. Um, Shaun of the Dead is a uh, comedy uh, set in post-apocalyptic uh uh, I think London, um, a, a man who uh, 
still loves his uh, ex-girlfriend. Um, goes on an adventure, or not an adventure, but goes uh, out of his way uh, to get her back. Uh, and that's when the, po- the apocalypse happens and zombies come into the picture. Um, and then now they are fighting for their life. Uh, um, and the way uh, Edgar Wright um, filmed this was amazing. And his use of uh, audio and uh, music in this uh, was great too, especially in the um, uh, bar scene when they're at the uh, Winchester, I believe. Lots to talk about. All right, fellas, get your shotguns, your assault rifles, your pistols, whatever you got. And it's time to go look hunting. Go for it. Well, personally for Land of the Dead, and Shaun of the Dead is really funny, and Mad Max Fury Road... I have it, but I haven't seen it yet, but I wanted to. But with Land of the Dead, I think George Romero just missed making all those zombie movies. Like, the zombie movies he made were Night of the Living Dead, which is his first film, then Dawn of the Dead, and then Day of the Dead, and now he came back with it. And then after that, he made so many other movies, like Diary of the Dead, Survival of the Dead, but now, sadly enough, he just passed away just last year, and... It kind of broke my heart, and um, it just made me think a little bit about all his genre movies. Plus, there were cameo appearances, like two from Shaun of the Dead that made cameo appearance, and that is uh, Simon Pegg and Edgar Wright posing as photo booth zombies in the movie, and uh, they had fun, and. Um, Another thing about Land of the Dead is that eh, it was good and creepy. And, I mean, I like creepy stuff. I mean, especially with the different contact lenses that they used for for you to be in character as a zombie. Besides all the blood and gore, missing arms, uh, chewed up mouth, the basic stuff for being a zombie. Um, so, Shaun of the Dead, uh, it got a uh, 92% on Rotten Tomatoes, and it got an 8 out of 10 on IMDb. Land of the Dead got a 73 on Rotten Tomatoes, and got a 6.2 out of 10 on IMDb. Um, so, I'll just let the uh, f- uh, critics and, and fans, I guess, uh, settle that fight there. Um, for Mad Max, um, I mean, Ma- I thought Mad Max was great. Um, but Shaun of the Dead does something different. It's not your typical apocalypse movie. It it, it has it has the apocalypse um, f- factor or theme in it, but uh, it it kind of puts a, a little spin on it, and um, kind of Edgar Wright kind of plays around with it as well, um, with the whole uh, comedy and uh, love story in it. Um, um, so um. Yeah, they had a 6.1 million budget, uh, but they made 30 million in the box office. Um, so there's that, and then I just have some awards, um, but apparently they're all like British awards. So, you know. And the thing I will say about Mad Max, like I love good comedy movies, especially post-apocalyptic, and I love good zombie movies that are post-apocalyptic. Fact mm-hmm. is, I already have another form of medium that already has a really good zombie theme, and that is The Walking Dead. And The Walking Dead, in my opinion, is by far much better than either of those two. The thing about what Mad Max did, not only was it nominated and won a whole lot of Oscars, um, even nominated for Best Picture, but like this is a world that... Not only is it the post-apocalyptic, but, like, you could actually have fun in this. Like, it's not intentionally a comedy, but, like, you will have the most fun in this universe. And with these fast cars, and I know they're kind of inefficient since gasoline is really low, but, like, this film is just ground broke everything, especially what George Miller could do. Like, before this, he was making Babe, Pig in the City, and two Happy Feet movies. I don't know why he was doing those, but, like... He had a 15-year gap, I presume, between Beyond Thunderdome and Fury Road, and man, did he come back big time with it. And with all these awards under his belt, no one thought that he could actually come back and do it, and he did it in a big way, and summer 2015 is now defined by Mad Max Fury Road. 
Okay, okay. So who's got the best apocalypse? That's what we're here for. I honestly well, think Mad Max because, well, not only is there no water, sorry for interrupting, but there is no water and no gasoline, and the th two things that you need to survive in that world is water not only for you to survive but to grow plants and grow vegetation, but also gasoline in order to get away from those hillbilly cults that are chasing you and want their women back, and they clearly can't have them because Charlize Theron will kick your butt if you try to get them back. Um... I think Shaun of the Dead is the best apocalypse film because the way, uh, in, in the beginning, the way Edgar Wright shows how the apocalypse happened is through t the TV and uh, special uh, scenes like um, there's a man in a park and a bus passed by him. All right. Well, I think this closing arguments are going to be pretty interesting, if I do say so myself. We'll start it off with Ben. Gotcha. Mainly, I think Land of the Dead is just too brilliant, especially with the special effects that they had put in from from George Romero's good friend Tom. So, so I don't know his name's Tom, but you might know him. He he just puts the graphics really good. I mean, he's been with George Romero ever since Dawn of the Dead, and yeah, it's good and creepy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, Ben, your time to shine. All right, I love Mad Max Fury Road because this is George Miller's masterpiece, and he has made a dozen masterpieces in his time, and for this to be the best, that has got to be saying something. No one thought that he could return to this franchise, especially with Mel Gibson not at the helm, but he did it anyway, and Tom Hardy blew it out of the park, Shillery Theron blew it out of the park, and the entire setting and the entire world just blew me away, and I would just love to be go back there again. He's mm, angry. What a day. What a lovely day. He's angry Andy. <laughs> and uh, Noah, cap uh, us off. So I think uh, Shaun of the Dead is the best post-apocalyptic movie because it takes all these other elements along with the post-apocalyptic and combines them together beautifully and pulls it off uh, in, in a way that uh, is uh, watchable and lovable. Um, and then Edgar Wright also is uh, pulls off all the scenes and, and transitioning from this normal life to you now the apocalypse and um, just the whole movie itself is just really good. All right, all right. You know, I've always wanted to gear up for the apocalypse. Got to be prepared, so I got this grip trainer. <laughs> yeah, you'll last long. One, okay, that's enough for that <laughs> now. Uh, got to... Got to stay fit, boys. Okay, so sure. uh, third place is going to have to go to Ben with Land of the Dead. You uh, brought up some good points about the makeup was very good, and uh, George A. Romero came back with a flash. But uh, it feels a bit old hat to me that uh, even though it was a return to form, uh, Romero has quite a bit under his belt already, and... Um, it just feels like it's treading over old ground. And you kind of uh, gave Shaun of the Dead an input that if Shaun of the Dead was so good that even Romero had to acknowledge him. And that kind of leads me into second place with Shaun of the Dead. Good job, Noah. Wow. And um, I thought that the blending of action, zombie, guts spilling everywhere, and... Uh, barrel of laughs comedy that Edgar Wright is great for uh, was a good new hotness compared to the uh, old hat type of uh, stuff that Romero put out with Land of the Dead and uh, I thought it was a great combination, great argument and that just leaves Mad Max Fury Road for number one, uh, a lot of passion it's a return to form in a whole new way that Land of the Dead had a return to form but uh, Mad Max was differentiated itself from the franchise that it had established completely. And uh, I think that uh, both the Charlize Theron points that there were good actors here and uh, Tom Hardy filled the shoes that Mel Gibson had uh, worn in really hard. And uh, yeah, it was a great, great job for everybody involved. Uh, fact checks, anything? They make my job really easy. Everything was true. Mm -hmm. I knew it. I didn't even have to say it. 
Um, so yeah, just to recap, number one, Mad Max Fury Road had been. Number two, Noah had uh, what did you, Shaun of the Dead. Mm-hmm. And third place with Land of the Dead with Ben 2. <laughs> I shouldn't call you that. That's disrespectful. But anyway, uh, yeah, that was Cardinal Film Fights. If you enjoyed this, like, subscribe, comment. Uh, tell me how good I am, how bad I am. My family already does that enough, but I welcome it even more. So, um, yeah, hope you enjoyed this, and I'm looking forward to seeing you again. Thank you, and good night.